Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here, and in this video we will show you how to download Windows 11 ISO file. You can use the Windows 11 ISO file to install Windows 11 directly, or create a USB drive to do clean installs of Windows 11. I will do a video on how to set up a Windows 11 USB after this video, so hit subscribe if you are interested in seeing that one. We are going to download Windows 11 from the uupdump.net website and to find the link head over to 123myit.com and click on the downloads link. I will put all the links in the description below if you want to click on those. Once you're on the downloads page, scroll down to where it says create Windows 11 ISO file here and click that. It will then take you to the uupdump.net website. Click on the X64 button for 64-bit computers, and you can use the ARM64 for non-X86 computers and Raspberry Pi. Next, go and click on the Community Update link. Click Next again, and then select the version of Windows that you want to download. I already downloaded the Pro version, so I will try the home version next. Click Next. Cool. Make sure you have the download and convert to ISO and the include updates selected and then click on create download package. Go down to the zip file and click on open when done. It will download, and then when it opens, you will need to click on Extract All Files. You can extract them to a folder, but I'm just going to extract them to the desktop. Awesome! Just minimise your other windows, and double click the file that says uup download windows .cmd. If you get the Windows Protected PC screen, just click on More Info and then Run Anyway. Okay, that will run a batch file that downloads all the files from Microsoft and creates the Windows 11 ISO for you. Depending on your internet, this may take a while, so go grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and maybe hit that subscribe button. Because this takes a while, I'm going to cut the video until the end. Okay, so you should see your Windows 11 ISO file appear on your desktop. When the script finishes running, just press 0 to exit. Cool, so you are complete now. Your Windows 11 ISO file is downloaded and you can rename it if you want to. You can also delete the other files on your desktop, you don't need them anymore. And just before you go, I want to show you one more thing. To install Windows 11, just double click and open the file, and then double click on the setup.exe file. If you run the install and then click next, and you come up with this error, the PC must support TPM 2.0. Don't worry, I will show you how to fix this error in a video after I publish this one. I will put a link to that video in the top of this video, and also in the description below. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as record your screen on iPhone or iPad. And do me a favour, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.